So what I have here is a quick one month update on this pond jar. It's been about four to five weeks since I made a video creating this jar and the plants have exploded. They've done really well. Since I put them in here, they didn't look like much, but they've grown really well. And we can see all the different species of plants here. So this was the water mint. These are the reeds. When I put the reeds in, there's absolutely nothing, just these dead twigs. And they've grown into proper reeds, which I'm sure will grow even better eventually. This is the flamingo plant. It's growing really well. This is the first to grow. And this really has exploded. Got some other plants in there as well. Now the only issue really with this jar is it hasn't got much, well it hasn't got any water movement on the surface. There's no water movement whatsoever. So the water's kind of got stagnant and it's got quite a bit of algae as well. And the water is also very dark. I think it's because of the amount of wood that's in there compared to the amount of water. It's made the water very dark. So it's, it's kind of doing well, but um, I'm not that happy with it really. I'm actually going to change it. Um, I'm, I'm going to take it down, take all the plants out, take the substrate out and the wood, rocks, etc. And I'm going to put it into another tank. And this tank is going to be a proper paludarium. And a paludarium is a tank which has water, but also a land area. So like this jar, really, this jar is basically a paludarium, but I've called it a pond jar. So I'm going to be making a proper paludarium with a, a filter and a pump to make sure I get some water movement so I don't get any stagnant water like this one because this really does just look like a bit of a dirty pond but, but obviously it's, a, it's in a very small jar it's really good the way I set it up with the wood and, and everything if you watch that video where I do set it up it took a long time I do like it but I just, I just want it to be I just want a better one really. So it's gonna have more water, a lot of open water space, so I might even add some fish. So it's gonna be like a proper paludarium, and I will be calling it a paludarium and not just some sort of pond jar like this one. But it did what I wanted it to do, you know, the plants grew. And if I leave, left it, you know, it's only been a month, if I leave it longer then I'm sure this jar will really, will really fill out with plants. But I'm gonna change it. I've got a proper light now above this jar, so the plants will do really well, even better, because I've got a proper full light above it. And the light goes the whole way along this table, up here. So it's worked out really well, but I'm going to be moving it into a bigger tank, a paludarium. I'll show you this paludarium now. Give me a second. So the tank I chose is called the Tartarium 80. See the picture of the turtle there? And that's because it's meant to be a turtle tank. But obviously, 
I'm not going to be keeping turtles. The reason I've bought a turtle tank is because the height of it isn't that high. So it's a very long tank. It's only 30 centimetres front to back. But it's not high at all. It's, I think it's 24 and a half centimetres in height. So obviously I'm not going to be using the ramps or anything like that. I'm just going to be using the glass. So turtle tank into a paludarium. So I've put the tank in place, put it on some of this white board just to make the bottom even so it doesn't crack when it's full of water. So this is the jar and this jar with all the plants and substrate I'm going to be moving it over to this right corner or right side of the tank and it's going to slope down and this part's going to be full of water. So this is the jar. This is a new tank. So in the next video, hopefully I'll be posting it next week. Um, the next video will be me setting up this new tank as a paludarium. So that should be really fun. So make sure next week you watch that. So I'll be recording it start to finish. So that's the update on the pond jar. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.